Hello again. Most of the time I have seen that the climatic model results are given in NetCDF format. So let's see what uh, ArcGIS and MATLAB deals uh, NetCDF format, NetCDF files. So let's open ArcGIS 9 first and open a sample file from the index and make NetCDF table view. So there we look at one NetCDF file. Now uh, we can drag and drop uh, in the variable drag and drop menu. We can see what are the variables that this file has. So we can see precipitation, and for the optional part, we can put time. And then here we the dimension we give latitude and longitude. And then we click OK. Uh, we locate some points. Some grid points then we click on ok it takes some time and then it will generate for that certain specific point a time series so it's done now we can have a look it's on source so now you can see after opening that it, it gives you a yd time and uh, precipitation value so if you go scroll down, it's it's a 30 years daily precipitation value for European project called Prudence. They have two time slices. One is for control period, and another for scenario period. So this is one of the files from control period that contains 30 years daily precipitation values. Now, okay, that's it. So we are going to see now how MATLAB builds NetCDF files. So let's first see with uh, help netcdf. So there is a built in library in MATLAB that asks for NCID and then variables in the mood. So we can write down netcdf NCID and we can paste it somewhere here. And then if you enter, it will give you an ID number. And then we copy this line. And then it will, of course, give a error message because we didn't put the um, ID number because we put just put a star. So let's put NCID and randomly put one. So you can see that's latitude two. So it will give you all the variables that is located in one, two, three in different dimension. So this is how we can find out. And three, it's time. Four is a variable VR62. So VR62 is is precipitation in the metadata, the the dimensions of the NetCDF file. And that's it to get the data. We have to write some script. So in case if you have any difficulties of course you can send me an email